大家好，一零一路的篮球大作 NBA 二 K 二十终于在九月六号正式发行。那今年的 NBA 二 K 二十算是 PS Five 发行前的过渡产品。那在整个画面跟所谓的建模的部分，跟上一代的 NBA 二 K 十九其实是大同小异。那今天影片就来介绍一下游玩四五个小时之后，呃，初步的感想吧。那在球员跑动的部分，其实跟上一代比，其实有相当大的一个差异。那我们在另外一个视窗可以看到，这个是上一代 NBA 2 K 1 9的球员跑动的一个画面，跟现在来做一个相比较的话，其实 NBA 2 K 2 0的一个跑动动作比较像 NBA Live。那今年 NBA 2 K 2 0也是学习 NBA Live 吧，把整个 WNBA。把它加到游戏里面来，但是请相信我，在你玩过几场 WNBA 之后，你还是会比较喜欢玩 DOA 的沙滩排球。那在今年的运球方面的话，有一个很大不同，就是回归到以往的 NBA 2K 17这样的运球机制。那在这一代，玩家必须将所有的花式运球动作给串接起来，没办法像上一代一样使用所谓的花式运球动作包啦。所以在这一代的运球的话，变得比较复杂一些些。那在今年新增了非常多的一个防守以及进攻的徽章。那在进攻徽章的部分，闪电第一步，也就是所谓的 Boss Buy， 又回到 NBA 2 K 2 0啦。之前就是因为在 NBA 2 K 1 8太过强势，所以在19就直接把它拿掉。那在今年又回归到 NBA 2 K 2 0啦。那反制的话，可以利用所谓的防守徽章压制网。来做一个压制，但是假如你的防守球员没有这样的一个徽章的话，其实他在没有多多加做运球动作的时候，其实很轻松就可以切到篮下去了。那以上就是今年 NBA 2 K 2 0比较不一样的地方啦。那一样的地方就在于说画面以及人物的建模，场边的观众以及所谓的球场。那以及这个中场秀呢 ，half time show， 其实跟上一代比，算是复制贴上的一个状况。那在板凳区上面的一个替补球员的话，看起来是会依照场上的一个状况啊去做一个鼓掌，但是看久了就觉得他这个动作算是一个一个公式啊，所以看起来是非常好呆。好了，那以上就是所谓的游戏的一个初步感想。那不好意思，我真的找不出啊，其他不一样的地方啊，我找了非常久，体会了非常久，感觉还是找不出来。搞不好真正的重头戏在 NT 模式里面的拉霸鸡跟爬庆狗，诶、欸，搞不好哦。那之后的完整的心得以及该买不该买系列。NBA K 2 0之后也会为大家来做一个上传啦。好了，我们先给片再见啦，感谢各位，拜拜。Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. But it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Free throw, good, Bogdanovich. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And here's Young. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Here's Allen, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoying playing together and against each other. So, Team World's five right now. We've got Gilgis Alexander, Ananobi out there with Aiton, and it's Osman in at the three spot. And, and not as many turnovers as as we often get. In this game, so good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. Knox misses, and you know this game 
has had a lot of different looks to it over the years. I mean, it began as the rookie challenge back in 94, and since then we've seen the format change a number of times. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and they'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Now, here is Young. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Aiden at the elbow. Here's a Kogi. Here's Osman. They get the rebound. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Knox. Fires the three. Here's Allen. Second shot opportunity. Count the basket. Allen's got his first pass. Well, you got to do much more than that to slow Allen. I mean, this guy is long and athletic, capable of converting through contact. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Another shot. Ayton passes to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. To the paint. Here's Hananobi. And the rejection by Jackson. And the shot goes in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Allen. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Allen's got four this quarter. You just can't leave anyone open around Young. He's very capable of spotting his uncovered teammates. 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Pass to Osman. This one for three. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Pick up the pace. Get the two for one here. That's the way to go. Be quick about it. Young pass to Knox. Allen with it. Now guarded by Aiton. And Jackson gets it to go. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Aiton inside. Defended by Allen. Misses the fadeaway jumper. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. And so, it's Team World bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Taking a look at Team World. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, I like it, Ernie, because they're just not settling for outside shots. You know, that part of the game is pretty when it's going in. We've seen plenty of teams try that and fail. They'll have a balanced approach. And tonight, they found a ton of skills. And... back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. And, you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for USA. Jared Allen is out there with De'Aaron Fox. Then it's John Collins. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's Kuzma in at the four slot. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. An all-star week is one great show after another. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. 
Bogdanovich finds eight. Fox with the steal. Outside Tatum. Rebound by Team World. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Kuzma with it. He's picked up by Doncic. The pass to Fox. Wants to get it to Collins and does. Over Bogdanovich. Shot by Collins, no good. And not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That'll be his second foul of the game. Marvin Bagley's checked in for USA. And a change for Team World. Carew just checked in for eight. Simmons with it. Back to Doncic. Five on the clock. No good that time. Clock management. This is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. Kuzma against Bogdanovich. Good. Kuzma excellent at using his height and touch to perfection. Very confident player. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Fox against Simmons. Out to the right wing. Bogdanovich looking around. To the middle. And stolen by Kuzma. And now USA on the break. And there it is for him. Now just a two-point team world lead. You got to keep Kuzma in front of you, especially in transition. Once he gets behind you, it's done. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And we've reached the end of the third. Team World leads by four. And, and let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. So, Team World's five right now. They've got Markinen, Gilgis Alexander out there with Karuch, and it's a Kogi in at the two spot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Team World. The activity level defensively, I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive end. And guys, the thing that jumps out at me is their block shots. I mean, they're playing up on the shooters tightly, and then they're sending them packing. I mean, putting those shots in reverse, all in a clear, good day's work. And there's the call on Jetty Osman. That is his first foul of the game. Jackson passes to Knox. USA moving the ball around. Outside, Bagley. Three on the clock. USA needs to get off a shot. Shot's good from Young. And the work ethic coming into play there. Yeah, I like how Young can just focus on the task at hand. Gil just Alexander passes to Okogi. Over in the corner, Osman. Carries it from three-point range. And Team World leads by four. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical junction. Young taking his time here. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Again, USA. And a depth mid-range shooter as well. All Young needs is a little breathing room. And he set the fire. And Team World calls time here. They're leading by two. 1.32 left in the fourth quarter. A big group substitution here for Team World. Andre Eaton's checked in for OG Ananobi. 
Doncic comes in for Jetty Osman. Bogdan Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Josh Okogie. And Simmons subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. Doncic outside. Over Bagley. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Doncic not afraid of the moment. Actually embraces the spotlight. This guy steps up big when needed most. The USA calls time here. They trail by four. 119 left in the fourth quarter. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight. That They've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. Young against Simmons. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Aiton, and Aiton stays with it. And it's a six-point team world lead. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss, one of Aiden's special. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty, and it's over. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Aiden. Tatum wide open. He fires one. A three-pointer off the mark. And an intentional foul right there. And so Markinen will bring it up for Team World. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Fires from deep. Trains the three-pointer. Markinen's got the lead up to nine now for Team World. And it's just competing. I mean, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Outside, Bogdanovich. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And here's Young from the arc. He can't get that one to fall. And that was a little bit of a rage check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. So we see Team World get the win here. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement. to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. You're right, Greg. And this really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time. I know, I know, I know, I know that you like it like that. I wait designer, check the name on the tag. White fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me, that's a thousand.